Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of new information to go over about Pokemon Legends Arceus. Plenty of things that you might have missed in the recent trailers and commercials for the upcoming Pokemon game that we're going to be breaking down today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video and let me know any other things that you saw in the trailers that weren't mentioned in today's video. Video. Subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, this is the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at. It was tweeted out by Cerebi and it's a Cerebi picture. Some new key art has been released for Pokemon Legends Arceus. And this is very, very key art because as you can see, we have the leader of the Diamond Clan, the leader of the Pearl Clan, the two protagonists. We have the starters down here, Cyndaquil, Raul, and Oshawa. And in the background, we have Dialga and Palkia. So this is the first look at the uh, Sinnoh legendaries in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And at the back, we also have Arceus as well. So Dialga and Palkia are massive in this artwork um, for whatever reason. But yeah, this looks really, really cool. Big fan of this. This is like a really cool, like, I don't know, phone background or desktop background or something like that. But uh, yeah, this is the first look at Dialga and Palkia that we've seen in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Still not seen any gameplay of them, but we have seen the confirmation that they are going to be in Legends Arceus, which we kind of knew anyway, but now we're definitely convinced. Um, so that's the first thing that I wanted to go over, just some really, really cool artwork. Now let's get into some things that you definitely missed in the latest trailers. Um, so this was tweeted out by Pokestarmy. And she says, that's a whole lot of stars to get. So uh, if you don't know who Pokestarmy is, she basically translates a bunch of different Japanese texts. Um, really, really cool account to follow. Make sure you do if you do want all that in-depth knowledge when new Japanese trailers come out. Um, but yeah, this is a scene in the latest Japanese trailer. And as you can see, um, they say your rank in the Galaxy team has risen to one star. And the next image shows that star there. So there are obviously a bunch of quests that you have to do in Pokemon Legends Arceus to get all of these stars up. Uh, there's 10 in total here, and I'm guessing obviously to get like the 8th, 9th, 10th stars is going to be really, really tricky. Now, we don't know if you get these from completing quests or opening up different areas, because we know that you can only open up new areas if you do certain quests. It's not like Breath of the Wild where you can just explore everything at the start or challenge the last boss at the start or whatever. Um, it's different than that. You have to do certain quests to unlock certain locations. So I'm not sure if it is related to the galaxy rank or what, but um, yeah, it's kind of cool to see that there are quite a few ranks that you have to get through to get to... Um, to the very final kind of rank of the galaxy team um next up we have this to go over which is really really um i don't know if it's a stretch or not i can't really see it but apparently it's very obvious but i don't know maybe i'm just not looking at it properly um but the beta version of jumpluff could appear in the roles of professor lavender in pokemon legends arceus so this was originally found by eclipse and these are the images so this is from the like the newest legends arceus trailer and as you can see here there is like an animal creature kind of thing and then there's also something here now apparently this is um the beta jump uh which is of course a close-up here but i just can't really see it i don't know if i'm looking at it wrong um but basically if you didn't know this is what jump originally looked like for pokemon gold and silver but i think this is kind of like the cloud kind of thing on the top and then these are its ears i really can't see it but everyone's convinced um, that this is the beta jump I, I don't know maybe it is like this is actually kind of like the tail you can see this gives me like digimon vibes like coromon and stuff but um yeah i think this is the tail here these are the two ears kind of thing and then this is kind of like the the woolly I don't know, cotton or cloud or whatever it's got on top of his head. So yeah, apparently Beta Jumpluff is on the wall or the blackboard or whatever in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, it's not the first time that we've had like a Beta Pokemon kind of make a comeback like with Surfetch. That was originally a far-fetched evolution in Gold and Silver. And of course, it changed a bit, but it did come back in a future game in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So the same thing could happen for this, and it could just be a completely different Pokemon. Um, but I think we also had a Quillfish evolution in Gold and Silver as well um, that was never obviously uh, saw, the, saw, the, saw the light of day. Um, but again, it's been heavily rumored that we're going to get a Quillfish evolution in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe they are bringing back old beta Pokemon, and if that is the case, then I really really hope they bring this like little yellow tiger back that was a really cool beta Pokemon in gold and silver and I don't know why they scrapped it but they did and it's the coolest Pokemon ever and I love it and I really want it to be in the games it's not gonna be probably anyway 
this is apparently Beta Jump Luff, uh, or whatever it's called. Yeah, Beta Jump Luff, apparently, is what, um, is what people are saying. So, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but apparently it's in Legends Arceus. I don't, I don't see it personally. Like, I mean, I get it. I kind of see the different characteristics of this image, but I don't know if it is the bait. I think it's just a squiggly line, so I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. What do you guys think about that? I'm not convinced. Let me know your thoughts. Next thing we're going to go up is just more stuff about the, the rank thing. The character will rise in rank and Team Galaxy as he progresses in his investigation. Um, so again, we've already kind of spoke about that. I, I don't even think I was supposed to include this part in the video. But either way, just some more stuff about that. This is something else that I wanted to go over. So this, I did go over a little bit in the overview trailer. But if you didn't watch that, um, basically, you can change the game time at any uh, point in Pokemon Legends Arceus's camp. The options are morning, day, afternoon, and night. So this is really, really useful if you're trying to catch a specific Pokemon that only um, pops up at a certain time of day. Like, uh, let's just take a Drifloon, for example. I think that pops up at night. Uh, if you're trying to catch a Drifloon for like your Pokedex research or whatever, or you're doing it for a quest, uh, and obviously it won't pop up in like the mornings or the days or whatever, then uh, you can easily change the to, to night and then um, you'll be able to find it. Again, I don't know if Drifloon's only going to pop up on Fridays. That was just a Pokemon that I thought of. Um, I don't think it would because it only kind of pops up at the Valley Windworks on a Friday. I think it will pop up at different places. And we've seen from trailers as well, there's multiple Drifloon on the screen at the same time. So it's not just like one that you can find like in Pokemon um, Pearl and Diamond. Um, but yeah, that's a really, really useful feature um, to be able to kind of... Uh, skip like day and time this also means that it has its own clock as well it doesn't go off like real time like brilliant diamond and shining pearl does uh, it has its own in-game clock that you obviously go through um and, and can change and stuff and alternate so i don't think there's going to be like events and stuff in, in regards to like the time of day or whatever i think it's just going to be like pokemon's um kind of appearance and stuff in in different different locations depending on the time of the day next up we got to go over this so new tetris 99 grand prix themed pokemon legends arceus announced january 21st to the 25th um so i decided to cover this in today's video because this is what uh samus hunter actually was speaking about i think i i don't know when all these videos are going to get uploaded but i'm pretty sure that video is going to get uploaded before this one i think um, but basically, yeah, we went over some new leaks and stuff, uh, and Summer Sunter basically went over some, like, threads, uh, basically made a Twitter thread uh, talking about different things that we could expect to see in Pokemon, and she said that there was going to be a Tetris-themed uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus announcement soon, um, and she's been getting quite a bit of backlash recently as well from people saying that she doesn't know what she's talking about, and that she doesn't have like a clue and that she's you know faking everything um so you know when she does get something right it's only fair to say that too and she got this 100 right to be fair to her um she did say in that twitter thread that there was going to be a tetris 99 theme for legends arceus and that is the case this has been announced um so that was 100 percent true so as well as that uh, in that thread she also went on to talk about how like we might get a new mainline game next year uh, well this year should i say so again that has a little bit more legitimacy to it but again I uh, just wanted to give credit where it's due because she did 100% get this right. Uh, the next thing I wanted to go over was this. Um, I also went over this in the overview trailer, but this was posted by PLDH. And he says, I love how Hisuian Zorok's shadow ball curves to try and hit the player. As a ghost type move, it just makes sense. Um, so yeah, this was from the overview trailer. And as you can see, the shadow ball kind of changes direction to um to try and hit the uh the, the protagonist there which is uh really really cool i'm a big fan of that uh, and again i think this is going to be a really tough fight because it has three immunities uh in ghost normal and fighting uh it's only weak to dark and i think it's going to be a really really cool fight i like the snowy background as well it's really really cool but yeah i think there's going to be certain attacks in the game that do this so like rolling out of the way sometimes just won't be good enough like maybe you'll have to do like a double roll or something um but yeah, I feel like if you didn't roll in this situation, the Shadow Ball would just turn and hit you. But that's something else to take a look at, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is the next thing that I wanted to go over, some more Pokestarmy translations. So a Pokemon book entry with incomplete research versus a Pokemon entry with no research. I didn't bother translating the no research one because there is pretty much nothing there, part one. Um, so as you can see, this is the Syndical page. And it says, a recently discovered Pokemon currently under investigation complete tasks to complete this Pokemon's page. So this is the liked food, uh, which is obviously these different kind of food mushroom thingies, whatever. Has the height, the weight, uh, and then it says held items, Orenberry, and research level 5. Um, and then this is the incomplete page that you haven't caught yet. It's just kind of like blank and everything. 
And then she goes to say, as for the second held item, it could be a new item, uh, means eaten by a bug, is probably referring to an acorn nut. And then it's been pointed out that liked food is a janked up translation choice. You'll get in the meaning. I had to just got off of work and was feeding myself by uh, feeding myself my liked food while doing all of this. So please forgive me. A better translation would be favorite food or favorite food. So yeah, instead of liked food, there's just favorite food, which again is not a massive deal. Basically what the Pokemon likes. I guess you could use these to sort of lure Pokemon out in the wild. But then this is also really, really interesting as well um, because she came on uh, to here to say that um, this, this person said, wait, I thought they weren't supposed to be held items. I think it was more implies the items that the Pokemon might be in possession of in the wild. So wild starters. It seems to be implied since you need to capture multiple of the same Pokemon in order to fill their page. So the fact that Cynical's page here is still incomplete makes the idea that the starters will be out in the wild if uh, plausible. So interesting note here, since Cynical's page is incomplete in the trailer and the way to fill in a page seems to be by catching multiple of the same Pokemon, perhaps it means even the Hisuian starters will be catchable in the wild which i really really hope is the case especially if they have new hisuian evolutions because it won't really matter as much which starter you choose if you can find all the others in the wild but yeah the fact that this page is incomplete and, and it says like research level five and we know that you update the, the research level by catching the pokemon over and over again uh, maybe you will be able to find this pokemon in the wild somewhere which hopefully is the case uh, but that is basically everything that i wanted to go over for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to drop a like down below let's try to 500 likes leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we might have missed there's still a lot more stuff to go over that i'll include in the next video uh, there's just a lot that we've shown in these trailers uh, and i'm sure a lot will, that will be more uh, shown next week as well so yeah subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell that's everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace